Mass was founded in 2011 at the University of Leicester. How it very first started is, well, um, I was into bodybuilding and fitness um, and I sort of followed the, the athletes and a very famous athlete called Z's, rest in peace, um, passed away and um, I made kind of like a harmless joke um, on Facebook saying oh, we should make a society in his memory called the Muscle Aesthetic Society whose activities would be pumping iron and going to student night shirtless. <laughs> Um, so I made that joke um, on Facebook and lots of people got commenting um, and it drew a lot of interest. Um, people obviously taking the mick out of me and the, the post that I made, but also people suggesting that, okay, this could actually be a society um, and people saying, oh, I'd, I'd join a weightlifting society if you were going to start one up. And so with that, I changed the name to something more suitable to what it is. Um, Mass is the Muscle Athletic Sports Society and so we see Muscle Athletic Sports as the weightlifting sports, the weightlifting for strength or physique, um, and also general health and fitness sort of all together, as well as martial arts, because lots of aspects from martial arts um, and the way they train is applicable to, say, bodybuilders as well. There's lots of crossover. For instance, Dave Tisson used to be a boxer, um, then became a bodybuilder. So there's lots of crossover between all those sports. And I paired them all together and then I spoke to all my friends from the different sports and said, hey, can you be our boxing guy? Can you be our mixed martial arts guy? Can you be our Olympic weightlifter? And we all came in together to start Mass at the University of Leicester. And with that, it exploded onto the scene, signing up, I think, 150 people at Freshers' Fair, um, which was a record amount for a first-year society. And from there, it's just grown, grown and grown. And we couldn't be happier with the response. At the top end of the sport, everybody's got good genetics. Um, what separates the ones, if you look at people like Jay Cutler, for instance, or Dorian Yates, less than ideal genetics, but made up for it with an absolutely bull-like work ethic and a refusal to be beaten. Between them, they've got 10 Mr. Olympia titles, it speaks for itself. Jay's the most successful businessman that bodybuilding's ever produced as well. So it just shows you what can be accomplished with less than ideal genetics. We've got so much on offer. Um, I mentioned the sports, so within that we have powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, strongman as the sort of strength-based weightlifting sports, and then there's bodybuilding, physique, fitness, um, fitness modeling as the sort of aesthetics-based sports within there, and then general health and fitness, and additionally the martial arts classes, so we're linking it with kickboxing, mixed martial arts, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai and some others as well and also CrossFit's coming in too, we've been doing some CrossFit and so say, to say you were going to join a mass society at a university there would be weekly events so maybe a weekly group training session or a weekly martial arts class depending on which university you're at there could be an event each day of the week and then there'd be month termly events such as we do a consultation event termly where we'd put loads on would give out advice usn would send their athletes down for us and those are really good events to, to get advice to network with other members and to track your progress as well and then we do group trips so group trip to body power expo um, depending on the location the society's in they might do a group trip to something else local that's going on classes at crossfit it's just basically everything within the spectrum of health and fitness and what's so great about it is it's ran by students at their university so each university has a chance to create their own identity what they're about for instance at Leicester University we have warehouse Wednesdays that's quite something that people really like there but other universities such as Salford you have your flex and tone Wednesdays um, where you go to that gym so that's sort of something you've created yourselves and with that there's so much going on and we can all take ideas from each other after educating yourself, I would certainly say self-belief. You're always going to come across people in life, I know I have, that tell you that you can't. Well, you can. There is a way. If you want it bad enough, you'll find a way. Consistency is the key to everything. Nothing crazy, nothing haphazard. 
just go with tried and tested. If you do the right thing every day, you will get the response that you want. But it's no good doing the right thing Monday to Friday and then blowing it off at the weekend. It doesn't work like that. So consistency. You give, I always say if you give me a guy who's got the right mental attitude and the right work ethic, he will beat the guy with the genetics eventually who hasn't got the right work ethic. Now if you can combine good genetics and the work ethic, you're laughing.